How to reinforce dining room chair legs. As you can see, this chair needs some serious help. First I remove the screw from an earlier failed attempt holding one of the front legs to a side stretcher. I have bought this long dowel rod and the diameter is roughly 2 eighths of an inch, narrower than the stretcher width. Now I cut the dowel rod which needs to be about 2 inches longer than the front leg depth. I am using a Japanese pull saw to cut the dowel rod as they cut with little effort and they are very precise. Now I will cut the end of the dowel piece midway to a depth just over 50% of the front leg depth. Now I drill a hole exactly in the middle of the opposing side of the stretcher. The depth will be slightly less than the dowel rod which I just cut and the drill bit diameter should be slightly less than the dowel rod diameter. Now I cut off another small section of dowel rod. This needs to be at least 3 quarters of the front leg depth. Now to cut off the two sides of this piece using a chisel and a light hammer. This remaining piece is around 2 sixteenths of an inch which will become a small wedge. Place the small piece of wood up against a wall and shave off a triangular section on each side. Now to glue in the original dowel rod with the cutout in place. The hole size turned out to be slightly larger than I would have liked but no worries as the glue when dry will be stronger than the wood fibres. I orientated the dowel so its wood grain matches the vertical wood grain of the front leg. Now to glue the wedge and tap it home with a small hammer so the dowel will be firmly stuck in place. This technique is also used when trapping the legs in a stool seat. Next to fill any gaps with glue and some sawdust. The glue has been drying now for over an hour. I am placing some masking tape here to protect the wood. Now to trim off the dowel and the head with a Japanese trim saw. I like sanding with 120 grit sandpaper. You could also stain the dowel head to match the original leg colour. I placed dowels at the front two legs where they meet the stretchers and I did the same where the stretchers meet with the rear styles. If your chair is really bad you may also need to do the same procedure between the apron and the front two legs and also between the apron and the styles at the rear. Let the glue dry for a day before using the chair. If you have any comments or questions please put them below. If the video was useful please consider giving it a like or subscribing to my channel. Many thanks.